Hello, kids, and welcome to Science is the Bomb with Mrs. Holderbaum. Remember, scientists like to explore and ask questions. They wonder about things. They wonder why things work in certain ways. They like to do experiments to find out why things work in certain ways. And today, we are going to be exploring parachutes. And I'm going to be teaching you a couple different ways you can experiment with parachutes to find out how they work and what happens when you experiment with a parachute. Today we're going to start out with an informational story to learn some things about parachutes and then I'm going to show you three different ways you could build your own parachute to see what happens. So let's get started with our story first. So now you'll just listen and learn a few things about parachutes. I'm just going to change the direction of my camera so you can see the story. All right. So this book's called, this book is called, How Do Parachutes Work? Make sure you can see that good. Okay. All right. So how do parachutes work? What is a parachute? A parachute is a special piece of fabric. It slows an object or person falling through the air. These skydivers are floating back down to earth. Many people skydive for fun. A skydiver is trained to jump from an airplane and use a parachute to land safely. A parachute has many parts. This is a skydiver's pack. It has a parachute inside. The main part of a parachute is the canopy. It is made from many triangle shaped pieces of fabric. The pieces are sewn. Together, the canopy is made of fabric. Cells are pockets in the canopy. They fill with air and open the canopy. The pilot wears a strong harness. Straps attach the harness around the pilot's legs, waist, and shoulders. You can see it in the picture. These skydivers will wear helmets when they jump. So they have on their harness and they have their helmet. Thick cords connect the harness to the canopy. These cords are called lines. The thicker straps closer to the harness right here are called risers. The lines and the canopy are stored in a pack attached to the harness. Ready, set, jump. A skydiver carefully packs her parachute before takeoff. A parachute must be packed correctly. The plane flies over the landing area. It's time to jump. After the skydiver jumps, she falls fast. Gravity is pulling on her. Gravity is a force that pulls objects toward the ground. She pulls out a little parachute and throws it into the air. It is connected to the canopy. See, it's like a little smaller one. A smaller chute slows down the pilots when they jump. The chute is dragged by the air. It pulls open the pack. The open pack lets out the canopy. The canopy begins to open. The slider is a strap that goes across the lines. It moves up the lines as the canopy opens. This is the slider. The slider also makes the canopy open slowly. The pilot can be hurt if it opens too quickly. The slider keeps the lines from tangling as the canopy opens. Working against gravity. Once the canopy is open, the skydiver slows down. The canopy creates drag by catching the air. Drag is the force that slows an object in the air. A pilot uses toggles to steer the parachute. Toggles are special handles. 
Those are the toggles. The toggles are connected to the brake lines. The brake lines are attached to the canopy. This pilot is using toggles to steer with both hands. A pilot pulls down on the right toggle to turn right. To turn left, she pulls the left one. Skydivers can twist and turn in any direction. A pilot can make her parachute move in many ways. Groups of parachutes can fall together. Look, there's a whole bunch of them at one time. Back to Earth. When the pilot is close to the ground, she pulls on both her toggles. The parachute slows quickly. A pilot needs a clear space to land, like maybe in a field. The pilot bends his knees and lands on his feet. The parachute falls to the ground behind him. It takes practice to land safely. Parachuting can be an exciting ride. This woman is learning to skydive by jumping with an instructor. So they're jumping together. And that's the end of our story all about parachutes. So now today, I'm going to show you, just get my camera straightened up a little bit there. Next today, I'm going to show you a couple different ideas I have that you could try at home to make your own parachute and experiment with it. I'll show you my examples and then I'll give you the directions for how to do it. So to do this one, you have to get a little toy. I used a little Lego girl, but you have to get a little toy that's kind of small, about that size. Okay, so see what you have at home. Some string, and then for this one, I taped it to a coffee filter. And then I'm just gonna I'll hold it up kind of high and see if I drop it, what happens. <laughs> you might want to when you build your parachutes. You might want to drop them from a high up area. Maybe maybe ask your mom or dad if it's okay if you stand on a chair. Or if you have some stairs at your house, you might drop it from the top of the stairs and see what happens when you drop your parachute down. So that's one idea I had. Here's another idea I had. <laughs> I bet some of you have some of these at home. A face mask. You could tape. Tie your little Lego guy on to some string, attach it to the face mask, open it up, and then drop it down and see, see what happens when you drop down the face mask. <laughs> now I have one more idea for a way you could build a parachute. You could use a grocery bag and Tie your Lego guy on, tie some string to the hands, tie the strings to the grocery bag, and then kind of open it up and drop it down and see what happens when you drop down your grocery bag. Let's see what happens. All right. So there's three different ideas I had for how to make a parachute. So now I'm going to give you directions for how to make one. I'm going to show you guys how to make one with a coffee filter, some string, some tape, and a pair of scissors. So, oh, and a little toy. So you have to find a little toy. I have some little Lego girls. So, and notice if I drop, if I drop my Lego toy without the parachute, the gravity pulls it pretty quickly back down to earth, doesn't it? So I wonder if when I make my parachute, if I can catch some of the air to slow down my skydiver's fall back to earth. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to get some string. So you have to get two pieces of string. So maybe make it about as long as your arm. And then... Cut one piece. And then when I cut my next piece, I just make it the same length as my first piece. Okay. Then for the next part, we're going to tie the string on to one of your little toys. So I'm going to 
tie it on to, I think I'll use this one. I'm going to tie it on to her hands. I think I'll change the direction of my camera so you can see me put together my parachute. Okay, so I'll change the direction of my camera right now so you guys can see that a little bit better. Okay, let me focus that a little. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be tying the string on like this one that I already did. So I get my little Lego person and then I take my piece of string. You might have to ask a grown up to help you if you're not um, good at tying knots yet. So I just tie around one hand and then I do it again just to make sure it doesn't fall off. So I just tie a little knot. So see I have the string tied on to one of her hands and then I tie the other string onto her other hand and these are going to be the lines that attach to the parachute. So she's the skydiver. These are the lines and then the coffee filter will be the canopy. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tape my lines to the canopy. So I just get, I'll get a couple little pieces of tape for one side. So these pieces over here, I'm going to tape one on here. And then I'm going to tape one on kind of in a different area. So I kind of have two on this side and then I'll tape two lines on this side. Okay, so I put some tape on here. And then I tape this one over here. And then I'll tape this one back here. And now I have my parachute. See, there's the canopy, there's the lines, and there is the skydiver. So you can decide which type of skydiver or which type of parachute do you want to make? Do you want to make one using the coffee filter or the um, face mask like this? And like go and see how fast it falls down to earth. Do you want to make one using, do you want to make one using a grocery bag? And see how fast that one falls back to earth? Or do you want to make a parachute using the coffee filter? If you want to, you can make a couple different ones and then see which one works the best. Sometimes scientists do that. They experiment to see, hmm, which of these materials would be the best for a parachute? Okay, so give it a try and see what you find out about parachutes. And thanks for watching. Science is the bomb with Mrs. Holderbaum. I hope you have a great day.